good morning, afternoon, welcome to Monday and another week at drama school. This morning I've been in for body conditioning, first thing this morning. Um, we had our assessment um, where we had to like sort of lead a warm up, talk about modifications and like injuries and all of that stuff. This evening Tash, Christiana and I are heading to the National, back at the National on another Monday, to go and see Small Island, which I know zero about. I know it's a very well-known book that most people have read. I have not. It is three hours and ten minutes though, so let's see how my concentration spans with that. <laughs> Hello. It has been... I'm just too tired to lift my camera up. This is awful. I've had my acting session with Ben. Um, which was fine, just went through our monologues. Um, again, that was our last like individual one. On Thursday, we are gonna like share them as a whole class and then do some more like audition technique workshops and stuff. Just chilling now. I've done some sip work, planned a meeting I'm having, a little interview thing um, with the marketing department at school. And then, heading out to the National and I think we're gonna get dinner at the National Cafe, which I've never done before. So I'm excited. We just had the yummiest fish and chips ever. It was so good. Where are we? BFI South Bank. We're at the BFI South Bank restaurant, cafe bar, opposite the National. We are just heading in. You have to oh, check all your like bags in and stuff at the National. So we are just checking them in, which means my camera is also going away. So I'll see you after the show. That was light. I am back in my parents' house. Like, having parents who live half an hour out of central London, so bloody great. I had to go to work this morning. Um, well, it wasn't really work. I went to my boss's house to like go through stuff for the show that the theatre school I work at is putting on. Um, so just like checking in on all like where the kids I teach are and how ready they are for the show and like anything I needed to teach them in the next coming weeks before. So I did that and also just had to catch up because we haven't had time to catch up in ages because everything has been about work rather than life. So that was very nice. And then, yeah, came home because that's like halfway in between where my parents live and um, where I live. I have some interviews for like pubs to work out over the summer. So they are this afternoon. And then I'm gonna have dinner here before I head back into London. Best thing about coming home is going into a cupboard full of food. What do I wanna eat? So many yummy, yummy things. I found you, little cutie cat. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, don't eat me, don't eat me. Right, I had my first interview. It went really well, such a cool pub. Oh my God, the aesthetic was amazing. I loved it. You know and like, small acts of kindness are the best thing ever. So, as I was leaving to like go and get a ticket, someone in the car park just came up to me and was like, hey, I still have over an hour left on my car park ticket, would you like it? And I was like, amazing, thank you so much. And now there's still 30 minutes left on it. So, I was kind of on the hunt for someone, but nobody is coming into this car park, which is a shame, because I would have liked to have passed that on. But, how nice. That's made my day. Neither urban nor rural. It sums me up. So, I started reading this book that like everyone has been talking about, and everyone has been saying, like, read it, it's so relatable. Holy shit, this book is so fucking relatable. We're on page 16. This book is about. Me. She goes to boarding school, sixth form. She went to an all girls school. I went to an all girls school. Then she went to boarding school. I went to boarding school. Then she went to Exeter University. I went to Exeter University. Mental. So good then. Highly recommend on the manual on page 16. But like, everyone's read this book already, so I'm like the last of the game here. It's all changed two pages later. She goes, she's tall for her age. It's 
not about me anymore. I'm not tall for my age. And I never was. It was fun while it lasted, all 19 pages of me and everything I know about love being about me. Ready to get home, chill. It's so nice in summer when it's still light at like half nine. Thanks for joining me on this journey home. It takes me like just under an hour to get from my parents back to Swiss Cottage, so it's not too long. Um, but I got a good chunk into that book and I'm loving it. It's so weird because in like the first few chapters, I guess, she's talking about things that happened in X to uni, which is where I went to uni. And like she talks about like all the like clubs that I went to and this like curly fry petition to like keep them in the the RAM which was our like SU. And I was like, oh my god, thank god that happened. They were the best curly fries I have ever and probably will ever eat. And I was like, oh I forgot about the curly fries. <laughs> so Good morning and here we go. The final ever 8 a.m. body conditioning. We had body conditioning. There was like some huge like breakdown or something on the Jubilee line. So like half my class and Arthur, our teacher, were at, like half an hour late. So our final body con was like really short. I need to go and warm up. I have an hour until singing through text. It's gonna be good to work on some of my songs before next week's final assessment. And then I'm heading out for dinner with Tash and Laura and we are gonna go and see the light in the piazza, which I'm very excited for. We made it to the t-shirt finally and we're having some dinner before light. Welcome to the final Friday. Mad. We have a self-tape workshop this morning um, and then free afternoon to prep, do work for next week. Next week is our mock audition assessment on the Monday and then like anything that needed like serious help and work on the Tuesday and then the final exam on Wednesday. The self-tape workshop was really good. I learned so much. I think self-tapes are like so important now um, and we'd never been taught about them yet. So actually learning about them was very cool and helpful. Tomorrow is West End Live. So um, my plan is that tomorrow I am going to work in the morning until 11 and then I'm gonna head straight to West End Live. If all goes to plan, that will be up next Sunday as a separate vlog. I also don't usually vlog on the weekends. I tend to vlog Monday through Friday. So if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing on the weekend, especially like, uh, I mean Western Live will be gone, but like they'll be on my Insta story highlights, I'm sure. Um, go and check out my Instagram. It's at Sophie Jane's Griven, and I'll put like the link in the description below. And don't forget that on Tuesday is the second one of my Let's Talk Drama School series. It's going to be a video with Lydia from um, my course, and we are going to be talking about rep and how to choose audition songs and everything like that. Please do subscribe to my channel for more theatre content and drama school vlogs and I will see you next week.